next instrument is standing waves in air column. You are pipes. We are going to blow the pipes and we will produce some disturbance through the pipe inside the pipe and this disturbance will move along the pipe and the back reflect from the other end back. So when they are moving back and forth through this pipe, they will uh, form standing waves uh, along this pipe and these standing waves will produce sound. So it's starting like the when disturbance is produced at one end of the air column. So how can you produce this? By blowing, of course. We are going to blow uh, the pipe. So when you blow pipe from one end, so then you are going to form uh, uh, compressions and rarefactions. So when these uh, uh, compressions or rarefactions comes to the other end, because other end is normal pressure, normal pressure, but you produce a compression and the rarefaction, they will reflect back. So from normal pressure, they will reflect back. And when some waves are going down, some are coming up, it's they form standing waves. So when longitudinal waves, uh, because the waves produced through this uh, pipe is longitudinal wave with the region of high pressure, low pressure, high pressure, low pressure, so then you form it. When longitudinal waves arrive the open end in here, they reflect back and we interfere with other waves traveling down. So some are traveling down, some reflects and travel up. And they produce standing waves. These standing waves, of course, produces the sound. Sound is produced by those standing waves which are formed inside this pipe, inside this pipe. There are two, side, two types of pipes we are going to study. One of them is bold and open. So like this one, here is open, here is open. So in uh, open ends, molecules are free to vibrate. So if molecules vibrate with largest amplitude, that point is known as antidote, remember. So in transverse, wave, it was also like this. The, if the molecules, are, the, if the string is vibrating with the largest amplitude, that point is called antinode. In here, at open ends, these molecules are free to vibrate. They vibrate with the largest amplitude. That's why open ends are always antinodes. Air molecules at open end have complete freedom of vibration. So antinodes exist at both ends. Of course, we know that. Between two antinodes, there must be a node because two antinodes, one after another, is not possible. Here is a node, one antinode in here, the other one is here. So, only difference in both and open pipe, then the string instrument is this. In string instrument, if you remember that, ends were nodes. And between two nodes, there was there was an antinode. So, but here, but here, all the difference is that both ends are antinodes. Between two antinodes, there is one node. In string instrument, number of antinodes, number of nodes were one greater than number of antinodes. But in both ends, open pipe, were different. Number of antinodes are one greater than number of nodes. So this is only difference between string instrument and board and open pipe. So in string instrument, all harmonics were uh, present. What does it mean? First one, second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on. In uh, in the both and open pipe also all harmonics are present. Yani first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. Okay, what is this is the first harmonic, in fact, first order standing wave, this one. What is the length of the string? Let's count it. Remember, from antinote to antinote, we set distances lambda over two. So, but in string instrument, it was also like this. Look at the first harmonic. 
So distance is lambda over two from node to node. Only difference is it is from node to node now lambda over two. Length is equal to lambda over two. But in both and open pipe, from end to node to end to node, but still lambda over two is the length. For that reason, all equations are the same. Yani yeah, fundamental frequency equation V divided by 2L. Second order is going to be twice of the fundamental frequency. Third order is going to be three times of fundamental frequency. Fourth order, four times. Everything is the same. The equation of the ceramic series for pipe open at both ends is the same as the equation of the harmonics at string uh, instrument fixed at two ends. Yani F is equal, Fn is equal to M V over 2L only. In string instrument, L was the length of the string. In here, L is the length of the pipe. This is the, if you say it is different, that is different. So L is here length of the pipe, but in string instrument, L is length of the string. What is V? V is the speed of wave inside the pipe. So, of course, when you are blowing, you produce a mechanical wave, which is longitudinal. This wave is moving up and down inside the pipe. So that speed V is the speed of the mechanical wave in the medium inside the pipe. Again, you can get second harmonic, third harmonic, third harmonic by multiplying fundamental frequency with two, three, four, five, and so on. As I said, in all all harmonics are present, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. And best example for uh, open at both end pipe is a flute. So this is also an instrument which is open at both ends. So now if you look at the camera, here is open. It is also open. Same as the flute, in fact. Only in flute you are going to blow uh, in a different way. This is, you are going to blow, uh, it will be opened like this. You are going to make some disturbance. Some like this. So then, uh, what happens? So then the, it starts vibrating the, through this uh, pipe, this longitudinal waves, and then standing waves forms inside this pipe, and you can form a, a sound, you can produce a sound. So, uh, now, uh, in the equation, if you look at the equation, you are going to see that uh, there are V and L. V is the speed of the wave inside this pipe. I mean, it's the air, speed of the mechanical wave in air. But L is the length of the pipe. If you see that there are holes, it is one hole, another hole, another hole, another hole, another hole. So, so when you, all the holes are open, this is open end for this for this um, uh, instrument. This is open because uh, when you blow from this point and then uh, the wave starts vibrating, back, uh, reflecting back and forth between this open hole and that uh, the point where you blow. But if you start closing these holes one by one, so you are making the length of the pipe greater. So according to the equation of the fundamental frequency, when you close the holes one by one, so if lengths get longer, what happens to frequency? Frequency must increase or decrease if L greater. In, uh, frequency must increase. Now follow, all, all are closed. So length is the maximum, F is smallest, follow. I start opening the holes, and then I may I am making the length shorter, longest. So when you are opening these holes, you are decreasing the length of the air column. But when you close them all. So whole length of the instrument becomes the length, longest length. That's why F is lowest frequency you are going to obtain. But when you start opening one by one, so you are making the air to move back and forth between the first open hole 
and that point. So it starts vibrating, moving between these two points. If you continue opening, for example, if I open here, so then waves are moving back and forth between these two points. So you are making length shorter when you open the holes, but when you close the holes, you are making the length longer, and then you are increasing the length, decreases the frequency of the uh, instrument. And questions, problems are also very similar. I mean, just one, one of them I will show you. What are the first three harmonics of 2.45 meter long pipe that is open uh, open at both ends? It's asking you speed of the sound in air and the speed of the wave inside the pipe it's talking about is 345 meter per second. Let me calculate them. L is 2.45 meters. V is 345 meter per second. Calculate first three harmonics, which means calculate F1, calculate F2, calculate F3. If you calculate F1, then others will be multiple numbers. Get first F1, V divided by 2L, V is 345 divided by 2L, 2 times 2.45. So when you do this calculation, you will get 70. 70 hertz. Then second harmonic is going to be two times of 70, which is 140 hertz. I wrote here it's 171. Why I wrote like I don't know, but third harmonic F3 is going to be three times of F1, three times of 70, which is going to be 200, 210 hertz. It will go like this: fourth harmonic, four times of F1, four times of 70. 280 hertz and so on. You can calculate if you when you calculate the first harmonic, so you are going to multiply with other. Uh, you can also calculate the other harmonics if you know the fundamental frequency. But there are other pipes closed at one end pipes. If one end of the pipe is closed, air molecules at closed end are not free to vibrate. So. One end is open, open end is always anti node, but one end is closed, closed end is going to be node because particles are not free, they are it's closed, they are striking the wall, they cannot vibrate with largest amplitude in here. That's why closed end will behave as a node, as a node, while open end behaves as an anti node. So that is why in one end closed pipe, number of anti nodes and number of nodes are equal. So one anti node, one node. Two anti nodes, two nodes. Three anti nodes, three nodes. So difference is this number of nodes and number of anti nodes are equal in closed and one end pipe. Also, length of the pipe is not equal to lambda over 2. Do you remember in here, length of the pipe, we started with lambda over 2 first, half of the one lambda. But in the first harmonic, in the closed at one end pipe, what is that distance from node to anti node? It is lambda over 4. From one node to uh, and one anti node, distance is lambda over Four, but in here, distance was lambda over two. So length of the pipe was lambda over two. For that as an equation will be completely different than this one. So if you make L is equal to, L length of the pipe is equal to lambda over four, you are going to get fundamental frequency equation is not V over two L, it is V over four L. V over 4L. Did you get what now why frequency drops when you closed one end? So because you divided by 4L. But in both and open pi, what was the fundamental frequency equation? V divided by 2L. <laughs> so this is greater, but this is smaller, even half, even half of that. Yani, assume that the pipe in my hand. Uh, if I blow it with open at both ends, 
if fundamental frequency is 100 hertz, when I close one hand, fundamental frequency becomes 50 hertz. It becomes half of initial case. So this is the difference between open at both end pipe and closed at one end pipe. Their fundamental frequency equations are different. One, the first difference is number of nodes and an anti nodes. They are equal. First difference is that. Second one is fundamental frequency equations are different. Third difference is this, only odd harmonics are present. Yani, first, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, even harmonics are not. Yani, two, four, six, eight, those are not present. That's why one, three, five, seven are present. Why is it like this? If you do this calculation, you will see that. So this is the first harmonic from one antinode to note lambda over four. For this next harmonic, following harmonic, so there are two, one note, one antinode is added. That distance is going to be one uh, lambda over two plus lambda over four, which is equal to three lambda, three over four lambda. Then you go on, you will get that. So for this one, if you go on, you will get that. So for that reason, even harmonics are not present in one and closed pipe, only odd harmonics, one, three, seven, five, seven, nine, they are present. So this is the third difference between one and closed pipe from two ends open pipe. Okay, trumpets, saxophone, and clarinets are similar to pipes closed at one end because uh, with the lips you close the where you blow for trumpet, saxophone, and clarinets, but other amp, which the sound is living, are open. So one question in here, what are the first three harmonics in 2.45 meter long pipe that is closed at one end? So this time we are going to say that, yeah, length is 2.45 meters. First calculate fundamental frequency. So F1 for closed at one end, we divided by 4L, first calculated, it is equal to 345, divided by 4, multiplied by 2.45. If you do, you will get it 35 hertz. It is the half of the uh, open at both end. Remember, it open at both end was 70, but now when I close one end, it becomes 35. Next harmonic is not second, third because odd harmonics are, are present, not even harmonics. So three times F1, three times 35, it becomes 105 hertz. Next harmonic is not fourth, fifth. Five times F1, five times 35, which is equal to, I think, 160. 175. 75, 75, yeah. Hertz. So, and then goes on. You can calculate F7, you can calculate F9, and so on, if they wanted it, okay? This is how we calculate harmonic series in close at one and five. 